This video is part of the Norisil series 2700 high pressure control valve maintenance videos. In this video, I'll show you how to take apart and reassemble a 2700 valve with balanced cage control trim. Before you work on a valve, you want to take a few steps to ensure safe handling. First, isolate the valve from the system. Then shut off and vent all supply and signal air lines to the diaphragm and release the process pressure for both upstream and downstream. You can work on the valve while it's in line as long as the line isn't in service and only if the line is isolated from the process by block valves. To take the actuator apart, you should first remove the instrument air from the diaphragm. Loosen the lock nut on the stem if you have a reverse acting actuator or the adjusting nut if you have a direct actuator and turn the adjusting nut above it counterclockwise until the spring's preload is completely removed. Unscrew the two cap screws on the stem connector and then remove it. Next, unscrew the yoke lock nut using a metal punch or narrow flat metal bar and hammer. Remove the actuator yoke from the valve bonnet. Remove the nuts from the bonnet flange and lift the bonnet off the body, along with the plug and stem. Now you'll separate the plug from the stem by punching out the plug pin. Remove the plug by turning it counterclockwise. If the valve stem connector has been removed, the stem and plug assembly can be removed from the bonnet. Always replace the packing if the stem is removed from the valve bonnet. Loosen the packing retainer and remove the stem from the bonnet. Now lift the cage out of the body and then lift the seat ring and gasket out of the body. If the valve has reduced trim, complete the trim removal by removing the seat adapter and its gasket from the body. Let's talk about reassembling your valve. First, install the plug and seal assembly on the stem by screwing the plug onto the valve stem until the hole in the plug top aligns with the hole in the valve stem. Insert the roll pin through the plug and into the stem until it is flush with the plug and install the plug o-ring with a backup ring on each side of the o-ring in the plug's groove. Now, install the piston bearing ring in the plug's top groove. Push the stem through the bonnet packing, taking care not to damage the packing, and tighten the packing gland. If you're going to reuse the packing and it was not removed from the bonnet, be careful when you reinstall the bonnet to avoid damaging the packing with the valve stem threads. You should be using all new gaskets and seals. Before you start, clean all gasket surfaces, including the body, bonnet, and guide. You can use a light coat of lubricant on the soft seals to make the process easier. If you have a reduced balance cage control trim, at this point, you'll need to take a few extra steps to reinstall the seat adapter in the valve body. After you push the stem through the bonnet packing and tighten the packing gland, you will install a new gasket in the seat pocket of the body bridge. Reinstall the seat adapter on top of the gasket in the body seat pocket. Install a new gasket in the recess at the top of the seat adapter and reinstall the valve seat on top of the gasket in the seat adapter recess. And from this point, valve reassembly for both reduced cage control trim and full size trim will be the same. Install the new seat gasket into the cavity in the body's bridge wall and then install the seat ring into the body's cavity. If the valve has a soft seat, install the seat insert in the groove on top of the ring. Install the cage on top of the ring and then install the new bonnet gasket into the top valve body flange recess. Install the new gauge gasket in the groove on top of the cage and lower the bonnet stem plug assembly onto the body guiding the plug into the cage, making sure that the chamber on top of the cage compresses the plug's o-ring and piston bearing ring correctly. Now, tighten the bonnet to body bolts to the recommended torques given in the new series 2700 O&M manual which is available at www.norseal.com. Tighten the nuts in a cross patterns in 25, 50, 75 and 100 percent increments of the final torque values. Finally, mount the diaphragm on the bonnet and connect the diaphragm stem to the valve stem. More information on maintaining your Series 2700 control valves is available in our new Operations and Maintenance Manual, which you can find at www.norseal.com.